These nickel coins that I go over in this video sold for a ton of money and you need to keep your eyes peeled for them. That way you don't accidentally miss out on a rare coin that sold for a lot of money. Let's just hop into this video. So this 1972 D 5 cent Jefferson nickel sold for $1,440 and this coin was graded by PCGS at a mint state 62. So it's very important if you come across a rare coin that you do get it graded and authentic authenticated that way you get the most money for your coin now you need to be careful because there are people out there that want to scam and rip us off and that's why videos like this and doing your own homework and research are so important to making sure that you do not get scammed this coin is a great example of a coin that I could see someone bringing into a coin shop or a pawn shop the store owner knowing it's worth money and they just offer the person a few hundred dollars when in reality it sold for one thousand four hundred and forty so let's point out the elephant in the room. If you look at this coin, you can tell that something's wrong. The color is weird. It looks a bit smaller than usual. And that's because the coin was accidentally struck on a Philippines 5 sen coin. Now this coin is graded again by PCS at a 62. The highest grade achievable is 70. But 62 is still a good grade. But there are a good amount of nicks and gashes on the coin. If your coin looks like this, it's a bit smaller. The color's off. There's a good chance that you have a rare coin because because this one sold for $1,440, $32,900 for this 1964.5 cent Jefferson nickel that graded at a 68. So this coin is incredibly rare and valuable because it is a special mint set coin. More on that in a moment. But this one also has a full steps designation. Now, if you flip the coin over, you can look in the back center of the coin above Monticello. If you have an uncirculated coin, meaning high graded condition, and it has those full steps there, it can be worth more money. Now those full steps are the highest point on the coin. They are the hardest to strike and they get worn down the quickest during circulation. So they are a highly sought after feature on these coins. So special mint set coins typically went out to mint employee families. So the probability of finding a coin like this in circulation or pocket change is slim to none. You're more likely finding a coin like this in a collection than you are in pocket change. Some people say there are less than 100 of these out there, but it is possible to come across one, guys. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for a rare special mint set coin like this from 1964 because this one sold for $32,900. If you learned something in this video, smash that like button. It would really help me out and I'll see you in the next one.